Welcome. <laughs> ow now brown cow. Uh, ow now brown cow. Today I want to do some comparisons on headphones. As we all know, the headphone jack is going to be a thing of the past. I'm pretty sure my next phone is not going to have one. There's rumors that the Galaxy S10 will lose the jack and I do like Galaxy. Not sure if the S10 will be my next phone or if I'll wait for the Note 10. But I'll let you know when that happens. It's not for a while. And the reason I want to talk about these headphones is because I recently bought two headphones from Wish. And I want to let you know if it was worth it, if it was worth the wait, if it was worth saving the money. So let's get right into it. Why Wish? Well, I figured I had a lot of time to wait, so I might as well cheap out and get the best deal I could find and that's why I went with Wish. But I'm going to start with the oldest set here. I'm going to do a close-up shot. These are Sony's. These were purchased probably about... I would not be exaggerating if I said 20 years ago. They're a set of Sony's and I bought them because I used to be a speed skater and I used to work out a lot. So I needed something that would not fall out of my ears and this style is really good for that and these have worked flawlessly they have great sound for little headphones or earphones I guess and there's nothing wrong with them but lately I've been going on long walks in the evenings and I do live near a busy road and I can't hear what I'm listening to whenever I walk on the busy road so that's why I was not really using these for the walks, and I don't really listen to music now with four little kids around. So there's those. Next there are these ones. These ones I bought because they were on sale at the local superstore. If you're not familiar with that grocery store chain in Canada, it's pretty popular. And they were on for $40, and they're noise cancelling. Oh, there's actually a battery in there. I should take that out because I don't want acid to leak all over it. So it... It's supposed to cancel noises that are constant, like in an airplane or uh, maybe the subway, things like that. But I haven't really used that feature because I don't travel much. But I do really like these headphones too. And I bought these 15 years ago and this fake leather is still in good shape and it still produces great sound. I really like these headphones. The one problem I have with them is that when I walk, this little door for the battery jiggles. I think that's what it is. Something jiggles anyway. I'm not sure. Maybe it's not that, but that was kind of annoying. But they're way better than the little ones because they covered my whole ear and I can't hear the traffic as much with these ones. So that's that. Now we're getting into the Wish. The Wish purchases. And these ones were an opportunity purchase. But actually, I bought these first. So both of these came with chargers and they took forever to get here. This one was late. So I actually applied for a refund, which I never got. And that's okay because they eventually arrived way after the due date. And they are comfortable. Overall quality, I don't really know. It feels like it's built well and it uh, doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart and they fit in the ear really nicely and just looking at them they're not bad uh the good the good the good the good this is kind of hard to to think about i don't really see anything good about these um <laughs> I, I, these ones were not a good purchase i'll be right up front these ones suck uh, so I'm glad that they didn't arrive because the only reason I purchased this set is because these ones didn't look like they were going to arrive and so I wanted something from Wish uh, just so that I can see if it's worth buying stuff from Wish. These ones are not good so um, if we're going through the good, the bad, the ugly, the good doesn't, there's nothing there. I mean, they're not good. They look alright. I guess maybe we'll give it that. They look alright. Other than that, the bad. The bad, where do I begin? Um, 
what's the worst thing? I have to save the worst thing for the ugly. So the bad, the bad, the bad, the bad. I would say the bad is that, uh, it's a tough choice. The sound is not even on between the left and the right. So I don't remember. I think the left one is louder than the right one. And I don't know how to fix this. There might be settings in the phone that would address this, but it's just terrible. I only used them once. I was getting ready. I think I was shaving or something. And it's loud enough that it drowned out my electric razor. And I didn't have a beard back then, so it took a while. And I hadn't shaved for a few days, so it took an extra long time. I brushed my teeth and uh, let's say 10 minutes. But I was watching a YouTube video that you didn't really have to watch the person. I was just listening to her and it it did all right for that purpose but then if you want to do anything at all if you move your head or whatever as you can see the main body or whatever control of the phone is lopsided and it basically pulls this piece out of your ear or jars it loose and if you turn your head it it's just not pretty let me see if i can demonstrate it so put that side in and put that side in. And I did have it behind my neck at first and I think it's better if it's at the front, but um, oh sure, now it's not doing it. <laughs> Anyways, maybe I'll give it another chance, but it wasn't working that one day. But even if they do fit well and they don't fall out, one side is louder than the other, and if I figure it out, I will add it to the end of the video. And then there are these ones. These ones look really good. They don't feel too solid, but they, you know, they haven't broken yet. The good, the good, they look really good. I was hoping for red. As you can see, I like red accents, but the blue one was a dollar cheaper, and when you're working with such low dollar numbers a dollar is a huge percentage i think they were under twenty dollars with shipping i thought it was pretty cool that it says 6s and i use an iphone 6s and that's probably not an accident on their part um but it does have some really good features so the good is it is bluetooth um i guess i could have said that about the earbuds it also is a radio which i have not tried so this is a not that good of a review. It's not a very full review. Uh, it also has a memory card slot right there, which I also haven't tried, but so far so good. The bad, I really only have one issue with it and I don't think it's ugly. I think it's just bad. If you wear it for too long, if I wear it for too long, I'd say probably an hour and a half to two hours, my ears start hurting because it is pretty tight. And it doesn't cover the whole ear, so it's pushing down on your earlobes and the whole ear, basically. So it hurts after a while, but the sound is good. I guess another bad thing is it, there's a constant buzz. So if I'm listening to something at a low volume, it's, I can really notice that constant buzz. And uh, the, the lady who speaks whenever you connect to Bluetooth and other things has a very thick accent which I think is kind of funny um, but yeah these are overall pretty good and I did go walking with them and something jiggles and that's really frustrating because it doesn't have any flaps for batteries and it doesn't sound like it should jiggle then there's these these are hyper X's they are really good compared to all the other ones these are amazing they cover my whole ear they are gaming headsets and they're not Bluetooth. So I'm not sure if anybody will want to buy these because they're not Bluetooth. They do have uh, another jack right here. It's for a microphone. And so the good, the sound is good. It's very comfortable. That's good. Um, the bad, it, it's not Bluetooth. So that's bad. I'm not sure if, I'll be able to use this with the phone in five years, but um, the ugly, the ugly, it actually has an ugly point, believe it or not, is that, I'm not sure, I did Google this and other people have had this issue. The phone will only 
sends sound to the left side, the side with the with the jack for the microphone. And I'm not sure what that is. That's the ugly and I don't know if that's something that can be fixed, but I tried with an iPhone, I tried with my Samsung, and it does it with either, with both phones. So there you have it. That's the good, the bad, the ugly for all of these headphones. I think there's four or five of them. And uh, thanks for stopping in.